Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Taurus, it's Dana, Gypsy Psychic, what's up? What's happening out there, Taurus? What's going on? How's it rolling, Taurus? Over here on this side, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. It's still hot, but you know, it is coming up on August here in just a second. So what's to be expected, right? It's just freaking hot. So let's throw some cards for Taurus on a hot let's bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Well, hell to the yeah, yeah, Taurus. All right. Nine of Wands in re... I'm sorry, Six of Wands in reverse. Um, overcoming, needing to overcome a battle, a lack of success of some sort. The Lovers and the Five of Swords in reverse to the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Good grief. The Five of Swords in reverse in the world. Nice. Those are going to make a lot of sense to us in just a minute. First card out, Ace of Pentacles. I see a pattern here, Taurus. I see a pattern. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Fantastic. Ooh, ouch. The Fool in reverse. Okay. Ow. High Priestess in reverse. Don't ignore your intuition. And holy cow, Justice in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Woo. And the Prince of Cups. Boom. The Devil in reverse. Releasing some kind of limiting beliefs. Detaching from something. The it's toxic, the seven of wands, the challenge might be your emotional apathy with the four of cups in reverse. The king of wands to the hierophant, hmm, Ooh, to the nine of cups, look at that. Ten of cups in reverse, the moon in reverse, the three of pentacles in reverse, the three of wands in the upright, okay. Double threes, the four of wands. Understood, foresight, gotcha, Prince of Swords, messages, Five of Cups, to Temperance in reverse, and then we start again, right? To the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords in reverse. All right, okay, all right, that's where we'll stop. I'm just really curious what's coming next. I can't help it, it kills me. What do we got? Six of Swords, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Magician. And the two of wands. Oh, what the hell? We'll take those two. All right, let's do this. So what y'all need to know about me before we dive into all this, I can be inappropriate. I will swear and I will most likely smoke my vape on camera. And if any of that bothers any bone in your body, please exit stage left. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's get into this. You guys, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna use the exact same cards to clarify. Haven't done that in a long time. Feeling a little freaky today. So I'm gonna blow your mind. This is a second deck of the Tarot Illuminati and uh, I love these cards. These are my go-to. I mean this is like these these are my cards, okay? I mean I didn't make them or anything, but right, they are my cards. So we're going to clarify uh, the root cards with the same deck of cards as um, the Tarot Illuminati. So let's do it. So the Ace of Pentacles, some kind of new opportunity, new opportunity for prosperity. The Queen of Pentacles, talking about success in everything, in the Wheel of Fortune, some kind of huge, gigantic turning point and the path of the future. Okay. All right, Taurus, here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Okay, it's kind of a big one. It's kind of a big one. All right? All right, 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 all right. So, 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 so. Okay, so we open up with the Ace of Pentacles right here, right? Brand new opportunity 
to sow some kind of well-being or prosperity into your life. To the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is talking about success. Everything's good. Everything's right. Everything's good in the home, the family, the finances, the sense of well-being, the sense of security. Um, you're going to have a new opportunity that is going to put you in the position of the Queen of Pentacles. Um, there's a new opportunity that um, Queen of Pentacles possibly could mean for some of you some kind of committed relationship. It can also mean business um, just as much, okay? So there's a new opportunity to manifest some kind of sense of well-being that's going to put you in a really, really, really good position. Really good position. Wheel of Fortune comes on top of it and says this is a huge turning point. This is it. The Wheel of Fortune is the direction of your path, right? It's about life cycles, destiny, self-realizations, turning points, the things that make life go forward, okay? So there is a turning point, a huge turning point, a brand new opportunity that you are about to step smack into, okay? It's just out there waiting for you. It's waiting for you, literally waiting for you. Well, what's the issue, right? There's always an issue. It just can't be freaking easy, right? There's an issue. From a spiritual perspective, you all have to understand everything that I do comes from a spiritual growth perspective because me personally, I believe that the only point that we're here on this planet is to grow spiritually. That's just what I believe. So my perspective and where I come from in my soul comes from there, right? Growth, spiritual growth, spiritual growth. So if you're just looking for a reading that's just going to tell you the who, what, when, why, where, and how, um, I'm probably not the reader for you, okay? This is about growth and what the Taurus needs to do to grow their soul so it can be pointed in the direction of their best and highest good, all right? Opportunity on its way to you, massive turning point. What's the problem? The Hierophant in reverse. Um, you have to do one of two things. Hierophant in reverse is telling you that you need to reevaluate a belief system. Um, there's something possibly, because we have the devil in reverse in the center of this reading, there is something possibly that you believe about yourself that is keeping you from manifesting this opportunity. Because the opportunity already exists. You just have to bring it into your reality. But maybe you can't bring it into your reality because there is some kind of ties, obligations, commitments, traditions that you need to cut ties with in order for you to be able to step into this brand new beginning. Okay, what's the problem, I asked? What's, what, what is it all about? And the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse comes on top of it and says... The issue with this belief system that needs some kind of attention from you um, is about hurt feelings, um, emotional insecurity with the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Five of Cups in reverse talking about moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. So... This belief system is about whomever it is that I'm talking to thinking that they're not worthy of something. That's the blockage. It's there. This new opportunity, a turning point in everything is right there, right for the taking, but you believe you're not worth it and therefore you can't manifest it. Okay. Okay. Got to keep myself straight here. This is a lot of cards, okay? A lot of cards. Okay. All right. All right. So. Okay. The Fool in Reverse. Fool in Reverse is talking about being foolish. It's about foolishness. It's about not the direction that you're supposed to go. Um, sometimes it's about someone in, in the situation that is a fool, okay? Um, 
the fool is always going somewhere, right? In the upright, he's, he's, he's going somewhere. In the reverse, it's not the track that he's supposed to go, okay? So foolishness, okay? High priestess in reverse. Um, something is being hidden from you, or you are hiding it from yourself by ignoring your intuition. I'll explain in just a second. Root card right after it is justice in reverse. This is an injustice. So whatever the fool in reverse is, the high and the high priestess in reverse is, is an injustice to your life, to your path, to your purpose. It's definitely not in your best interest. Okay? So something is going on that's not in your best interest. I asked what the root of the justice card was, and it is the seven of cups in reverse, which is um, emotional diversion or, or illusion, okay? It's, it's illusion. It's not being in your emotions. It's not being able to maybe cope with something, okay? And I think that goes back to feeling unworthy and here's where the other unworthy part comes through okay so the king of wands in reverse clarifies the fool in reverse king of wands in reverse talks about um a lack of confidence a, a, a lack of self-worth okay because the king of wands in the upright he's a badass right i mean he's got he's got it all in the reverse someone is lacking that okay so in lacking that, it feels to me like you're saying, I'm unworthy. And the fool in reverse is telling you that that is a foolish way to be. It's a foolish way to, to, to perceive yourself, okay? And the high priestess in reverse says it goes against your soul, okay? You, you are worthy. You are so worthy. But you have to understand and believe that you are worthy. Otherwise, the injustice is the path and the purpose can't be revealed to you in this wheel of fortune right here. Because if you don't think you can do it, you, then you can't. I mean, why would I give a job to someone when they straight up look me in the face and say, I can't do this job? Right? When I hire someone to do something for me and they, they sit down and they're like, I just want you to know right now I can't do this. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no clue how to do it. And I can't do this job. I mean, I would be crazy to say, okay, I got, you got the job. Right? Same concept with the universe. Right? They want you to go in the direction of this beautiful turning point in your life. But you're holding on to a belief system of... of failure failure not not worth it not 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 worthy of it uh-huh 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 two messages here okay page of swords says for some of you that you need to begin to plant new seedlings of thoughts in your mind to the three of swords in reverse and come and come to terms with your own grief and sorrow and pain that keep you in this blocked state of being right here, okay? For others of you, this is saying that someone is coming to you with a message to the Three of Swords in Reverse about forgiveness, understanding, acceptance, okay? If that's the case, then this High Priestess in Reverse right here is something is being hidden from you what would be being hidden from you well the person that's coming towards you is an egocentric self-centered person that um isn't capable of being successful in this situation some way uh-huh and they're bringing you a message they want forgiveness somehow okay justice in reverse it would be an injustice the seven of cups in reverse this is emotional illusion possibly thinking that maybe somehow some way this whole situation could work out again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, either way the six of swords comes on top of this and says you need to leave something behind um, just leave it behind a mindset being swords energy what would that mindset be I can't do it I'm not worth it I'm not worthy of it 
to the Knight of Wands in reverse, um, a lack of inspiration. Leave behind the mentality of, I can't do it, Two of Pentacles, and balance this out. Balance it out. Balance it out. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is about an inability to manifest. Balance out lack of manifestation. Justice in reverse still stands. This whole situation, however it's hidden with you, is still an injustice. What could be the injustice? Well, you've got a huge opportunity on the other side of the bubble, and you just have to actually manifest it. But you can't manifest it because you're manifesting subconsciously all of these feelings of self-doubt. Okay? All right. Justice in reverse. Injustice to your life. Okay. The magician. Boom. What were we just talking about? Manifestation, right? Major Arcana speaking to you just like justice in reverse was, just like all the rest of them are. Justice in reverse to the alchemist. Manifestation. What do you got to do, Taurus? Well, you got to get your mind in the game. You got to get your mind in the game. What you think about comes about. I mean, and it's not just some hippie saying. It's not just some law of attraction. It is such the God's honest truth that I just cannot even stress enough. What you think about becomes your reality. And your subconscious thoughts are way more powerful than your conscious thoughts. And in your deep subconscious, whoever this is, they are kind of crushed a little bit. Just a little crushed. And they just don't think they're good enough. Alchemist says, mind your thoughts. Mind your thoughts. Mind your thoughts. Death in reverse. And this will create a huge, gigantic personal transformation for you. What will this personal transformation do? It will flip this Hierophant in the upright and open the portal for this Wheel of Fortune to take you to the next phase of your life um, into some kind of new, really awesome sense of well-being and prosperity. That's what that will do. Get your mind straight. You are worthy. You have to come to terms with whatever it is that's deep down inside of you that goes way back to your childhood. It all goes way back to the childhood. And figure out why you have accepted an identity that tells you you are not worthy of some kind of success or opportunity in your life. And when you do, boom, it happens. It happens. Ace of Cups, emotional growth. Possibly what this particular Taurus is hoping for is some kind of relationship. Maybe your soul's desire is to have the be-all to end-all, once-in-a-lifetime relationship. Mm -hmm. And if that's what you want, for some reason you feel incapable or or unworthy or undeserving of some uh, in some way and this whole top row here is saying no 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 Taurus no look there you are standing in your power in the Hierophant you're a piece of the wheel of fortune because it's all four fixed signs right I mean no Taurus if you want love in your life you must manifest it. Manifestation is that right there. Whatever you believe becomes your reality. So be careful that you're not all ruminating in hurt feels all over the place about something, anything, anything, anything. Ace of Cups in reverse, repressed emotions, right? Hurt feelings, repressed emotions. Five of Wands, all kinds of conflict. Two of Swords in reverse at a crossroads. A crossroads that you really don't even see that you're at. You don't, it, what this card, what this is saying is that you're not recognizing the significance of whatever this thing is here that you need to reevaluate in your life. You're not 
understanding how important it is for you to reach through the bubble and take what is yours to take. Prince of Cups. This is uh, an exchange of feelings, okay? To the Three of Cups. Celebration, rejoicing, family, friends, reuniting, meeting someone. The Fool, brand new beginning, brand new direction, brand new journey. Brand new journey. See, remember the Fool in reverse up here, right? Whatever this 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 thing is for you right here, you got to cut that loose because by holding on to whatever that is for you, um, it's keeping you from everything, Taurus. It's keeping you from everything, 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 everything. It is. There is. There can be. There will be. If you will manifest it, some kind of significant, joyful relationship in your future, some kind of commitments, some kind of huge sense of well-being, huge sense of stability and safety. It's right there. But you have to believe that you can have it. Ace of Pentacles, it's waiting for you. It's a seedling. It's right there. Devil in reverse. But you have to release limiting beliefs. What's the devil in the upright? The devil in the upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What's the attachment that's the restriction to your growth? Well, whatever this Queen of Cups in reverse is that you need, that, that, that Queen of Cups in reverse that you are harboring loss, regret, despair, and disappointment in. Whatever that is for you, that's what needs to be tended to. Okay, that is the attachment that is the restriction to your growth. Devil in reverse says, the center of your reading says detach from that. Cut yourself loose from that. The two of cups. And believe that the kind of relationship that you want to have, you can have. You absolutely can have it. Stop wearing an identity from the past and step into a new identity. Reevaluate your belief system with that Hierophant in reverse. Who are you? What do you believe? What do you believe about yourself, life, relationships, family, love? What is your belief system? Because you don't have to own the belief system that you were given your whole life. It's time to make your new belief system. Your belief system. What do you believe about yourself? Don't let some situation or circumstance from your past define your whole everything. Release your limiting beliefs. You can have this relationship. The moon. But there's the struggle. The eternal struggle of the human between that which we know to be true in our guts and that which we really wish wasn't true. What's that? Ten of Swords in reverse and the Page of Cups. Everything comes to an inevitable ending. The pain of engaging or allowing myself to engage is too painful. And the Page of Cups talks about emotional creation. Emotional creation is too painful. The moon, the struggle, what do you know to be true? Well, your experiences from the past, right? What do you struggle against? Wanting what it is that you want, despite your experiences from the past. There's this huge, giant struggle inside of you, and that's the root of where that self-doubt comes from. No, it's not the root of where the self-doubt comes from. It is the connection to where the self-doubt comes from, okay? So the root of the self-doubt is what it is that you have accepted as your belief system that isn't necessarily yours. Someone else's. Created for you. Given to you. An identity. Your whole life. All your labels. Whatever. Seven of Wands. Your challenge, Prince of Pentacles in reverse, is to not stay stuck. To not stay stuck in in the bubble because it's right it's right there i mean it's like right on the other side of everything beautiful amazing amazing 
Four of Cups in reverse, emotional apathy. Five of Pentacles left out in the cold, right? Um, this has to do with whatever these hurt feelings are that's floating around this reading, all right? Um, e e emotionally apathetic because you, at some point, experience some kind of abandonment, maybe. Maybe that's why you think you're unworthy. Maybe you experienced, maybe you have an abandonment wound. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Could be from your most past significant relationship. Could be a mommy wound. Could be a daddy wound. It could be a all kinds of everything kind of wound. So yeah, some kind of an abandonment wound. Mm, that's it, Taurus. That's it. An abandonment wounding that is somehow has made you believe that you are unworthy of something. And that's the furthest thing from the truth because it's all right there. It's ready for you to engage with it. The second you stop with the negative manifestation, mm -hmm. you're blocking it. Absolutely. All right. Glad we came to the bottom of that. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. Right? King of Wands. Man, get some new mojo. Get some new mojo. Get some get some spunk. Get some desire. Get some, get some excitement going on. The pursuit of achievement and success to the Hierophant and the world. I mean, these cards are so freaking beautiful, Taurus. Oh my gosh. The Hierophant, your belief system, standing on your belief system, the King of Wands, having the gumption to create a new belief system. The world brings the old cycle of your life to a close and the door opens to a brand new cycle of your life. Why? Because of everything that you've been through, you've learned in some form or fashion everything that you're supposed to know. You have the tools to close this cycle out, reevaluate a belief system, come to terms with this abandonment wounding that you have going on here, um, and step into a brand new, a brand new everything. There's Taurus standing in their glory, in their power, in the Hierophant. The King of Wands represents the oomph inside of your chest, right? Oomph, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's go. And that's the second that the old cycle closes out and the new cycle opens up. The wheel of fortune begins to spin in for you, spinning and spinning and spinning clockwise, right? Spinning and spinning and spinning. It creates the ace of pentacles. And this ace of pentacles leads you to being the queen of pentacles somehow, some way, right? But what you believe about yourself is blocking it. Some kind of abandonment wounding is blocking you from stepping into absolutely freaking phenomenal things, Taurus. The Fool, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles again. The Magician, the Ace of Cups, the Devil in Reverse. That's even a beautiful card. Cutting yourself loose from an attachment of your flesh that is holding you from your spiritual path. How much more beautiful can that possibly be? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh yeah, and to top it off, the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. And I ask specifically, what does this Hierophant mean? What kind of, what is this that creates the sense of everything you've ever wanted and the emperor came out two things okay on the superficial it is the person this relationship that Taurus is holding out on because they're not manifesting it into their life they want it but they're not worth it they're not they're they're insecure about themselves anywho this is that that you're manifesting into your life the partnership on a deeper, more spiritual level, this emperor is you taking control of your shit. Taking control of your shit and learning how to manifest. He's lesson four of everything. Lesson one is the magician. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes, period. <laughs> so make sure it counts. 
Lesson two is the high priestess. Listen to your intuition because it will never, ever, 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 ever steer you wrong. It's always pointing you towards your true north. Lesson three is the empress. She is the connection between those two concepts and her physical life. And then comes the emperor. He takes what the empress understands, which is manifestation and intuition. Point your mind towards your intuition and it will always point you towards your true north. And he takes that and he builds a life with it. A physical life. Whatever this is, it's freaking beautiful. And we got more coming too. Watch this. Ten of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Swords. You got to come to terms with the with the downtrodden, this thing right here, this emotional abandonment thing. You just got to come to terms with it. I don't know what it is for you, how deep it goes, but you have to come to terms with it because it's holding you back from everything. The moon in reverse. Come to terms with that which you know to be true and that which you just maybe don't want to accept as the truth. To the Four of Wands. Because there is a long-term, steady, stable, committed relationship in your future. The chariot. Just putting the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to come to terms with whatever wounding it is that you have and push forward. The chariot is ready, willing, and able to take you to where it is that you need to go to be in the position for all of this to shake down in your life. The sun. They're trying to lead you to the path of happiness, success, and vitality. But you got to get your mind in the game. you got to get your mind in the game, Taurus. You've got to. You've got to. Let's see what's on the bottom of this deck here. This is a lot of repeating right here, okay? So we really don't... I mean, if you want to go through them, we can, I guess. I guess. Period, drop down, kind of like a new paragraph, okay? So the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Lack of teamwork and collaboration. Three of Pentacles in the upright. No, you can have that. You can have a good relationship. Three of Wands, but you got to get ready. you got to pre be prepared. Four of Wands for the long-term committed relationship. How do you do that? Prince of Swords. You get your mind pointed in the right direction. Five of Cups. And stop focusing on the loss, the regret, the despair, and the disappointment up here that they are telling you you have to let go of. The abandonment issue. Okay? Temperance in reverse because it keeps you all imbalanced. You can't overflow in your life if you're leaking out of the bottom. Obsessing about this in your subconscious. Okay? Queen of Cups. Um, pull yourself together in your emotions. Eight of Wands, push forward, go in the direction, go in a direction. What's the direction that you need to go in? Get Eight of Swords, two eights. Getting a new perspective about what your blockage is to what it is you truly want to manifest in your life. Princess of Cups in reverse. That's all of that emotional stuff. King of Pentacles in reverse. Possibly about something that happened in the past. Possibly about some kind of loss or lack. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords. Leave it behind. Queen of Swords in reverse. Stop being salty about it because it's blocking you. To the Alchemist. It's blocking you from manifestation. To the two of wands, the future. You can manifest your future, Taurus. It is literally right there. All you have to do is make it a reality. And the only way you can make it a reality is if you believe that you actually are worthy and capable of doing it. Bottom of the deck. Well, we're starting from the top. Of the deck. Bottom of the deck, the world. Again, second time. This needs to close. There's a brand new cycle ahead of you. Ten of Swords in reverse. Renewal and regeneration. Six of Pentacles in reverse. To the Five of Swords in reverse. This is resentment about whatever happened in the past. The lovers in some kind of super significant relationship in your life. Six of Wands in reverse where there was a lack of success. Abandonment issue. Right? To the Ten of Pentacles. 
Your future doesn't have to be like that, though. Your future can be any way that you want it to be. You just have to believe that it can be that way. If you believe that it can be that way and you do the work at the chariot, right? Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is you got to do to make that chariot go forward. And all of this beautiful, fantastic everything is waiting for you. But you got to get your mind in the game. It's lesson number one of absolutely everything. What you think about comes about. So, there you go, Taurus. I do hope that that helps someone. Namaste.